Jim, what do you make of it? Your team got off to a great start, but then Queen of the South got on top. Aye, I, I think for about 20 minutes, with, with a good spell, good period in the game. Uh, and, you know, we were, our, kind of a shape we were playing was dominating their shape to a certain extent. And then it just, kind of, a, I felt as though Todd and Wilson just got a, a real grip of the game in the middle of the park. And uh, I thought that was, you know, we, we just couldn't really get near them. They were, they were big and strong guys, they were quick. And, uh, and for then on in, you know, we, we struggled this when the second goal goes in, and then the second goal should shouldn't really happen because when they're cutting a free kick back, we should have somebody at the edge of the box, and I don't know why everybody was in the box. Uh, so again, behind two one was was sore, and we never really recovered for it to be honest. Uh, we're short of strength in the middle of the park, and up top with with not really get many options to change it. So you know we just need to uh, just keep at it. It's hard. It's hard for the supporters to watch that when it's so one-sided. I understand that. I sympathise. Uh, there's a lot of young players out there that are finding it hard because it's you know when you're losing and and, and your confidence gets down. So so it was tough. But you could see, I think, for the first 20 minutes, we were okay. And uh, that's what I just said to them there. They showed that they can do it for 20 minutes. So we need to do it a wee bit longer. I know it's against a full-time team in the day. But when we come into games in the next few weeks against the other part-time teams, you know, we need to do better and, and uh, you know, we need to hope that we don't keep shipping goals as easily as we are. Obviously there's no easy games at this level, but you have played three out of four full-time clubs, so it's been a tough start. Okay, it's been, it's been tough, aye, but, you know, there's, there's no point in moaning about it, you know, we, we're, we are getting more than the squad, but as I said, there are a lot of younger players. We Prince come on the day and showed that he can play, but his fitness is really poor. He's he's been carrying an injury for maybe four or five weeks, and he's not really trained. So he now knows the standard he needs to get up to, and uh, we'll have him out running just about every day. Uh, I, just, I felt I felt sorry for Ryan down the day because I thought he knocked his panning up there, and uh, he didn't get a lot of help to be honest. So. We just need to keep them working and try and get them up to speed and and, uh, and you know, guys like Strachan and that are getting fitter, you know, Ryan Strachan. Uh, so, you know, it'll take time but we'll get there. But the problem being is that in that time you just don't know how much damage is going to be done. So, uh, you know, we just, just need to keep them at it. What can you tell us about the big prints that was confirmed before kick-off that you signed that? Well, and I just know that he's a, he's a talented boy. That's he's quite positive when he gets the ball. I mean, I, I think even the day for all his uh, how tired, how quickly he get tired, you could see that he's you know how easily he goes by people or he beats people when he passes the ball. He's positive. So when we get him up to speed, he'll be an asset to us. Uh, and that's what we need. We need somebody in the park that's going to dribble past people and and. Uh, you know, and, and be positive he's passing because I think he did play one through pass. He put Ola through, and, and you know Ola get caught up at the end of it. But you know, he's a talented, talented boy. He just turned 19 on Tuesday, so say so we'll get him up to speed and hopefully he can he can give us something with no go. Okay, hopeful things will settle down quite quickly because it's quite unique. You've almost got a, I was going to say a new team. It's almost like a new squad. Ah, it is. But listen, what we, we, we can we do? You know, we we get. McCarthy got a, a wee setback, uh, which wasn't as bad as we thought it would be, so he's going to be another couple of weeks before he's back in training, but we miss him badly. Uh, so, you know, we, we, we will get there, but the key part of the football pitch for me is the midfield, and that's really where, you know, we've got kids running about in there, playing against men, and it, that's what it looked like today, men v kids. Couple of bumps and bruises to report. Okay, but there always is. So nothing. I think Andy's uh, hurt his hip and, and his rib cage. So we'll see how he is. And I think Ryan Dow's okay.